it's done. We'll go put the saw on here. Uh, but you want to see how I built this? Just uh, hang around, watch the end of this video. Show you how we put this together, okay? All right, you guys. Uh, it's time to uh, get the chop saw off the floor. Uh, I had to sit it on the floor temporarily because I had to uh, use this table to help build the shelves. And so today I'm going to try to build a stand. Actually, it's probably cheaper to buy another one of the tables than to build a stand. But building the stand gave me an opportunity to uh, practice welding a little bit more. And so <clears throat> this is my uh, attempt here to draw it out, kind of get a visual, kind of help me in the long run to stay on track. So what we're going to end up using is some uh, one-inch square tubing. Yeah, it's part of what I'm going to end up using everywhere. I'm tempted to change this top and use an angle line like I did on the uh, storage shelf for the water and the concrete. The reason being is because I'm planning on putting uh, expanded metal on the top. So, but we'll see as we get forward. Main thing I want to do is get the base done, get it cut. If I did all one by one tubing, comes out to about 25 foot of a metal. And as you know, metal prices has went up. I had the casters. These are the casters that fell. So I'm going to reuse them for this purpose. They should work for here. But the ideal goal is uh, trying to get around 33 inches tall. I find that's the ideal height, working height. Uh, 24 deep and 20 wide. And what I'm going to do on one side, uh, I'm going to have a, a roller. I bought a little roller, uh, roller stand. So I'm going to have that on one side. But on the opposite side of the machine, I need to have uh, something level. So when the offcuts come off, they don't fall. They've been known to uh, damage the blade, and the blade's about $100 a piece. So what we'll do, we'll get the cutting. Like I said, I'm still up in the air about whether to use angle line or not on the top, but uh, I see as I get closer. <clears throat> all right, all the pieces are cut pretty much, except for the expanded mallet. We change the sizes on these and cut these down to uh, 19 inches and we went 17 on these we changed a little bit uh, we kept the uh, the legs are still at 29 to put it like this and you can check your square again and also i know it's square because it's the same across that's right at 27 27 level so tacked it and it stayed in place uh, they're not the prettiest tacks in the world but they're enough to hold pretty much showing uh, level in good shape so it's still level all right uh, I found some 16 gauge scrap and uh, what I put in there Got three tacks on it, but I'm gonna come back and finish it out, uh, and I'll probably trim it. Uh, 
I did not bolt it down. I do have the options. It's a when you're cutting multiple pieces. So I'm thinking about uh, flipping it over, welding that under the bottom. I gotta get it all cleaned up first. And put that in there and then made me a mark. Get it square. Get the slide stop perpendicular right at 90. This is gonna uh, gonna slide in there. it on to the slide piece which was wrong so what I'm gonna have to do is go back and uh, drill a hole in the base of this drill a hole in here and I'll probably use this piece of about 3 8 all thread uh, tack welding on here make it stationary and then uh, or maybe I'll put the nut on here tack weld it solid on here and that way I can just spin the head as I need I put some all thread in here, put a little jam nut on it. Uh, screw this down until I get to the right height I want to be, which I know is two and so it came out good. I figured out just enough adjustment. Barely had enough adjustment. So pretty much everything you cut on here, the, the bottom is gonna be two and a quarter. That's what that is. So I can go ahead and just tighten that nut down here.